Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss the mystery of what's affecting superworms across the U.S. and what scientists have identified as the cause. A virus that has killed superworms across the United States has been discovered by scientists at Rutgers University, New Brunswick. The discovery has been reported in an article in Cell. This has led scientists to devise a method to identify emerging viruses and pathogens in plants, animals and humans. The Zophobus morio black wasting virus has been named after a species of darkling beetle, Zophobus morio, as it has a deadly effect on these insects. The beetle, during its larval stage, appears as large brown superworms as it emerges from the eggs. They were called superworm because the two-inch-long larvae are bigger than others that are grown as feed. Jason Kalber, study author and an associate research professor at the Institute for Quantitative Biomedicine at Rutgers, New Brunswick, made the discovery by coming together with Judith Pensis, the first author of the study and a postdoctoral associate at Institute for Quantitative Biomedicine. Over a year ago, beetle farm owners contacted Penzes because the superworms were mysteriously dying. A molecular virologist, Penzes had earlier isolated a virus that was killing crickets. She started collecting superworms at pet stores in New Jersey. She went to the feeder insect sections of the stores and checked out the worms. They were all infected. I told the owners of the stores what I was seeing that I was researching this virus and asked if I could have the container. They were immediately on board. They told me to take as many as I needed. She brought them back to the lab and blended them up. She then processed this slurry of beetle juice using a virus purification method that separates the virus out. Then when she focused a fluorescent light, the virus glowed blue. I said, I got you, when I saw it, Penzes said. I knew then it was indeed a virus. To learn more about the virus, she worked with Kylba and examined the virus using a cryo-electron microscope. Upon further inspection, they found that the virus is similar to the one affecting cockroaches, but not identical. It's a new one, different from anything that's been sequenced or imaged before, Penzes said. The two are now devising a vaccine after testing a way to protect the Zed, Morio beetles from disease. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.